So I'm Jean-Luc Martel, professor at the Construction Engineering Department at ETS. We built two green roofs on two transit shelters, one in Ville-Marie right here and one in uh, rosemont la petite patrie So we're trying here to see uh, what are the different benefits from those types of installations and how we can measure those benefits and see the impact on the environment, the society and the urban impacts. The water retained in the green roof will evaporate and will suck out the energy out of the transit shelter and will cool it down essentially. It's a bit like when you get out of the shower, you're all wet and you're actually uh, cooling down because you're evaporating that water and you're feeling cooler just because of that effect. So we're trying to see, can we do this here to make it more comfortable for the average user and the vulnerable population who are actually during like a, a heat wave or taking the bus. The goal is really to make it more comfortable to be within the transit shelter for the vulnerable population. During a heat wave, you want the temperature to feel perhaps a bit colder or a bit cooler to actually be much more manageable. The way we're going to do this is we'll install a different type of sensors. So we have, we have humidity sensors for the, the, the ground in the, uh, in the green roof. We have temperature sensors on the top as well as inside. Uh, the, bus, uh, the bus shelter and we'll do the same thing for a bus shelter that will have will not have a green roof so this will be able to comfort both so it's trying to innovate to find different ways to incorporate those vegetation those green infrastructure within the urban environment to actually get all the advantages they have to for instance fight the impact of climate change eventually we could see this pilot project be expanded on a larger a larger base on more bus stops all across the, the city for instance and this will have a much better impact overall on the population.